Hey, what's up, everybody? For this video, I want to talk about the WXW 16 karat gold tournament. You know, if you've been following indie wrestling over the past couple months, uh, there's been a lot of buzz about this tournament, and um, you know, it, it definitely features a, a, a lot of great matches. You know, if, I mean, it's not a great tournament. You know, there's some matches on here that are going to put you to sleep, but if you could, you know, get to the good stuff, you'd be very, very glad, happy that you did because you know, just there's some just some amazing stuff on here. Uh, you know, we have pro wrestling Noah talent like Go Shiyazaki and uh, Katoro Suzuki who's having an amazing year. Uh, then we also had uh, Desuke Sekimoto from Big Japan, I believe. Yeah, I guess Big Japan DDT, that would be his, um, those would be his main home promotions. But yeah, he's he's been on fire. He's probably, and uh, as far as Sekimoto goes, I would say that, you know, if, if he was in Noah, he'd probably be the perfect candidate to be the uh, pro wrestling Noah GHC heavyweight champion. I know... People have talked about Segura getting stale because he's not really drawing a lot of people at the Noah shows. Well, it's like he pretty much went through the whole roster, so I've, I have no idea how much longer he's going to be champion. But I'm just saying, if Sekimoto, you know, if they could work out at some type of thing where he could, you know, wrestle in Noah, I would say that, you know, giving it to Sekimoto would be probably the best option right now. But uh, uh, also, we had Davy Richards, Cole Cabana, uh, Kyle O'Reilly, Adam Cole. So we had some ROH talent that actually came in for the show. and. And then we had some of the WXW talent that we saw over the summertime with the uh, Ambition uh, Tournament. And Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, was also on this tournament as well. He's one of the uh, one of the guys that's been really, really on fire uh, over the last couple months. And he had an amazing match with David Richards, which I think everyone should check out. So, all right. So, um, yeah, like I said, this took place in Germany. And, um, yeah, you know what? Let me talk about the atmosphere. This atmosphere... In Germany is great you know it's, it's very different than the Japanese crowd but at the same time they're not as annoying as Mer American crowds American crowds could just you know be very very dull and silent and annoying from time to time this felt like more of like the heavy metal type of uh, mosh pit uh, you know that type of uh, atmosphere that European I, I just love European crowds I would say that even more so than Canada Europe definitely has the best crowds consistently maybe it's because they don't get a lot of shows but this this was just um, you know, one of the best crowds that I've seen all year. So uh, I would definitely say that. So yeah. Um, so so you know, this I'm not going to try to set the world on fire with this review. I'm not going to go through every match. I just I just can't do it. You know, I I tried to pay attention and analyze every single match. I just uh, my I just couldn't pay attention to some of the um, you know non-tournament matches and and some even some of the tournament stuff was kind of dull. But but. Like I said, though, there's just, just some amazing stuff on these shows, so it's definitely not skippable. I, I would recommend getting all three shows. Uh, so, yeah, so let's start off with day one. The the, the stuff to check out on day one, uh, I would say Coca Banner, Zack Sabre Jr., probably the best wrestling match that Coca Banner's had since he got fired. Him and Zack just had a, a great, you know, map based match. You know, Cabana really, uh, even more so than his ROH matches, he really wasn't a lot of comedy. He really just went out there. And uh, you know, went back to the European style, and he got time. And uh, you know, him and him and Zach just a tremendous wrestling. We got a huge Christmas wrestling chant. So uh, yeah, great for Cabana. And, and and by the way, if you heard the the podcast with Cabana and David Richards, this is the same weekend where they uh, taped that podcast. So, uh, but yeah, also from day one, uh, the other show ceiling matches: El Generico versus Katoro Suzuki. Uh, if you haven't heard of uh, Suzuki, he's actually from Pro Wrestling Noah, and um, you know he's been having some of the best matches over there this year. I would say that he's he's probably having the same kind of year that uh, Marafuji had last year and uh, Kenta had the year before. I I don't I wouldn't say he's as good as Kenta and Marafuji, but it seems to me like they're they're letting him you know they're, they're kind of experimenting with him over there. They're, they're just letting him have the most time, and he's a baby face, so he's kind of um, you know it, it just seems like they're letting him just go out there and just rock the house every single night but you know he's been having a great year and him and El Generico I would say they had the match of the night um, on day one uh, definitely a solid four star match probably you know, Suzuki's best match from this whole tournament so uh, and then the main event we had uh, Sekimoto, Daske Sekimoto uh, defending the uh, WXW Unified Championship against Bad Bones. Bad Bones is like this really big you know um, he kind of looks like the warlord uh, big bald guy really jacked up kind of looks like he's on steroids but um yeah him and second mode this was fun to watch you got two big bulls going at it i thought second mode look great this is almost a great main event in my opinion i probably give it three and three quarter stars so my rating for um day one i'm going to give it a 7.75 probably the weakest one out of all three shows but i think if you i would say 
Yeah, you know what? If, if you're kind of short on money, definitely day two and day three are definitely the shows to get. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, so on day two, some of the stuff that, uh, you know, really stood out, we had Sammy Callahan versus uh, Yoshihito Sasaki. Uh, Sasaki looked very, very impressive. I've never seen him before. I'm not so sure what promotion he wrestles for. Obviously, he's from Japan. Uh, maybe he's from Big Japan or uh, is he from All Japan? I'm not really sure. Maybe some, one of you guys can help me out because I haven't seen a lot of him. I, the name sounds familiar, but, you know, uh, Sammy Callahan has been on, on fire lately, and he was really, uh, you know, booked, uh, you know, what am I trying to say? He was really, um, well, he actually won this tournament, you know, I think a lot of you guys already know about that, so I'm, I'm going to spoil it. Um, obviously, he's in the main event, so I got to spoil it. But yeah, it's Sammy, and, and for some reason, the, the, the crowd in Germany just loves him, I guess. You know, it, it seems to me like Europe is more... Now, like the United States, they're more into that gothic type of gimmick, and they just they just really connected with Sammy Callahan this whole weekend, and uh, they had a very very good match. So that was good stuff. We had uh, Go Shizaki taking out Katoru Suzuki, so we got the two Noah guys going at it. These two guys haven't had a match uh, in a long time, from what I remember. But uh, you know, you have Suzuki the junior, a junior going up against the Noah heavyweight. It made for a great combination. I would say this was almost great. I probably say three and three quarter stars. I really think it deserves some more attention. You know, no one's really been talking about it, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, then we had Davey Richards versus Zack Sabre Jr. This was uh, amazing. I would say this is probably the best match that Davey's had uh, since Final Battle 2010 with Roger Strong. I, and so without a doubt, you know, this is Davey's best match of the year. I really thought, you know, him and Zack just, you know, they busted their ass. You know, this is like your typical Davey match, but, you know, to follow up on what uh, AMC N1 said, he talked about how Davey, you know, he said a lot of people don't really, you know, sell for Davey the way they should. I guess he was kind of uh, envisioning Roderick Strong in mind. You know, it seems like sometimes when you watch Davey and Roderick, they kind of just, you know, like they expect to get hit and they don't really sell it as well as, as they probably should. I kind of agree. Um, you know, Zach really, you know, he really took a beating and he really looked like he was getting punished from some of the kicks that Davey was dishing out at him. But, um like I said, this re really, really awesome stuff. You know, I, I thought Zach looked amazing. There was there was an awesome sequence of just, you know, pure stiffness in this match. Um, you know, uh, Davey was really, really, you know, going after the ankle. Uh, it, I thought Davey's selling was pretty good. You know, uh, towards the end of the match, Zach though, started working over Davey's arm, and I thought, you know, that came off pretty decent. It wasn't, wasn't, I mean, I know, I know people have criticized Davey about his selling in the past, but I, I thought it was fine here. It didn't look, uh, not I mean, the, I just thought it looked fine. I didn't see any weak points to it. Uh, and then the main event, we had uh, Desky Sekimoto challenging Johnny Moss. This wasn't as good as the uh, Sekimoto match from day one. Not at all. Uh, but it, it was still watchable. Though. It was still a solid three-star match. All right, so that's uh, uh, day two. The undercard stuff was kind of tough to watch. So this is why I'll probably give it the same score, 7.75. But, you know, uh, day three, this is definitely the best one. Without a doubt, this is the best show from the tournament. Uh, I mean, the last, like, three matches were just, you know, best triple main event of the year. I'm, I'm going to say it right now. Um, so some of the um, semifinal matches, we had um, David Richards and uh, Sammy Callahan. Uh, kind of disappointing. You know, Sammy kind of beat Davey in about 10 minutes, which kind of shocked me. I really was surprised by it. I uh, didn't really buy into it, but, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, they pushed Sammy Callahan really hard here. It seems to me like Davey is so underutilized in every single promotion other than PWG and ROH, even in New Japan. I just feel like some in some of the other promotions doesn't really get the time that you would think he would would have gotten sometimes. Uh, Big Van Walter and Go Shizaki. Great match. Big Van Walter had a, a great tournament. He's a, he's a really, really big guy. Kind of fat, but, you know, he could definitely go. He definitely... You know, there's no waste of motion with that guy. He definitely hits extremely hard. Him and Shizaki just had a slugfest. Um, I think I'd probably give it about three and three quarter stars. So, uh, also um, we had Desuke Sekimoto challenging um, El Generico. I'm um, uh, El Generico challenging Desuke Sekimoto for the WXW Unified Championship. Excellent stuff here. I mean, these two guys rock the house. I think this is underrated. I'm going to give it four and a quarter stars. There was some amazing no selling from El Generico. There was a sequence in Sekimoto, which is dishing out everything. The, uh, you know, the German suplex that De uh, Sekimoto hits, um, you know, the, the lariats. El Generico was kicking out of everything. I was just disappointed that, 
know, Generico didn't make a comeback and start, you know, dishing out some more offense to second motor. This could have got, you know, beyond amazing, but uh, I, I, the crowd loved it, got a match of the year candidate. And now we're just getting warmed up because we're going to another, an even better match. We get an amazing tag match. We get the uh, Leaders of the New School featuring Marty, I can't remember his name. They don't have his name listed. It was Marty something, not Marty Gennetti, but it was, uh, and then we had Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, taking on Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. This this was an amazing tag match. I would probably say, uh, I, th I think probably the best tag match of the year so far, without a doubt. This definitely had like the same atmosphere that the, uh, Unified tag match chat between the Briscoes and Austin Aries and Roderick Strong from Unified. It definitely had that that same type of European crowd where they were just going apeshit for some of the spots. And, and this crowd was great too. Like uh, the leaders of the new school came out with this like techno theme, and they were just going crazy for that. Uh, I mean, it was it was like a mosh pit out there. That that's how crazy it was. But Cole and O'Reilly looked great. I would say this is probably Cole and O'Reilly's best match so far. And definitely better than their final battle match. Better than. Their best tag match, without a doubt, four and a half stars. Definitely uh, the, the best tag match of the year, like I said. And then we had the main event. We had uh, Sammy Callahan and uh, Big Van Walter. This is the finals of the tournament. And uh, it, 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 it was good. You know, this this really didn't get much time. It really, um, this is more of a storytelling match. You know, Sammy really was trying to, you know, no waste emotion, just trying to beat the shit out of, uh, you know, Big Van Walter. Uh, you know, he was definitely at a disadvantage. You know, he, he fell through a table. Uh, you know, it took a power bomb. It looked like he was down and out. But, you know, eventually, you know, I, I think he chopped his knee. You know, he clipped his knee and then he started going after the knee. And he started shoulder blocking him. It was just, you know, Sammy wrestled hard as hell and then ended up winning by submission. Uh, the crowd went crazy. And uh, it, it was a great moment. And uh, I, I just think... You know, kind of on the short side, I just expected a little bit more, but I still say it was a solid four stars. So, so yeah, so uh, definitely check out this tournament. I thought it was, uh, you know, you know, for, like I said, from top to bottom, it's not like spectacular, but you know, there's some just some amazing stuff on it. So, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, take it easy.